Understanding Unemployment Insurance is an informational presentation that explains how Rhode Island unemployment insurance benefits work. You may collect unemployment insurance benefits if you are unemployed through no fault of your own, you meet earnings requirements, and you are able, available for, and actively seeking employment. Only trained staff at the Department of Labor and Training can determine if you are eligible for benefits. The best way to determine your eligibility is to file a claim and to have the department evaluate it. You should file a claim within seven days of your last actual day of work to avoid jeopardizing or delaying your first benefit payment. Here's some important information about severance. In Rhode Island, if unemployed job seekers have no chance of returning to their job, they do not need to wait until they have exhausted their severance pay before they can file an unemployment insurance claim. Rather, those receiving severance should file a claim within seven days of their last day of employment. In Rhode Island, two methods exist for filing an unemployment insurance claim. You may file online at www.dlt.ri.gov or you may file by phone at 401-243-9100. Please note that in Rhode Island there is no in-person or walk-in option for filing an unemployment insurance claim at this time. The general rule for someone who lives in one state but works in another is to file your unemployment insurance claim in the state where you last earned wages. If you live outside Rhode Island but had most recently worked in Rhode Island, you may contact our Unemployment Insurance Call Center through our toll-free line 866-557-0001. If you live in Rhode Island, but had most recently worked in Connecticut, you may call Connecticut Unemployment Insurance at 800-942-6653. If you live in Rhode Island, but had most recently worked in Massachusetts, Rhode Island Unemployment Insurance must file your Massachusetts claim for you. Please contact our call center for more information at 401-243-9100.
When you file a claim, you will need to answer questions about your past wages and work history. You can find a detailed list of the information you will need to file a claim online at www.dlt.ri.gov. When you file for benefits, you will be asked to choose from one of two methods for receiving weekly benefit payments, either direct deposit into an existing bank account or distribution through an electronic payment card. An electronic payment card works like a debit card and can be used at ATMs and stores. If you choose the direct deposit option, you will need to provide the account and routing numbers from your existing checking account. Most claims take three to five business days to post to the unemployment insurance system. You will know that your claim has been processed when you begin to receive informational mailings from the department. If you choose to file your claim on the internet, you will receive a confirmation number at the conclusion of the claims filing process. You can use that same confirmation number to deploy the check status of internet claim option available on the unemployment insurance homepage at dlt.ri.gov. This service is not available for claims filed by telephone. After filing an eligible claim, you will receive two mailings. Mailing 1 will include an overview of the materials, a Teleserve notice, and a guide to Teleserve. Mailing number 2 will include your benefit rate decision, a work search policy, tax withholding information, and a return to work form. Mailing number one includes mailing information that explains the contents of the mailings, a Teleserve notice that is shown here on the left and gives you instructions for certifying for weekly benefit payments, and also a guide to Teleserve that gives you further information on the Teleserve process, your benefit rights, your waiting period, and information on pending claims. The Teleserve Automated Payment System allows you to request and certify for your weekly unemployment insurance benefit payments using a touchtone telephone at 401-243-9600 or online at dlt.ri.gov. You must certify for payment for each week that you are claiming benefits.
To certify for payments through Teleserve, you must first select a four-digit passcode known as a Personal Identification Number, or PIN. To select this PIN, use a touch-tone telephone to call Teleserve and select your unique passcode. You are required to remember and use the PIN each time you contact Teleserve. And please keep your PIN confidential. Your benefit year ending, or BYE, date is one year from the date that your current claim became effective. If you stop and start unemployment insurance benefits any time during your current benefit year, you will not need to file a new claim. You will simply need to refile the existing claim. However, once your BYE has passed, you will need to file a new claim in order to collect benefits. Your Teleserve notice includes the date when you should make your first Teleserve certification. Alternately, a call center representative may contact you directly to inform you of your first Teleserve certification date. It takes approximately three weeks to process a claim with no outstanding issues, such as missing wages or an employer dispute. This estimate includes a federally mandated one-week waiting period. Mailing number two includes your benefit rate decision, shown here on the left, that indicates the amount of your weekly payment. It also includes a work search policy, return to work form, and a tax withholding form. Your benefit rate decision, also known as your monetary determination, states the amount of your weekly benefit payment as well as the maximum amount of benefits you may collect under this program and or program tier. You may be denied benefits if you did not meet the minimum monetary earnings requirements. In some situations, you may be monetarily eligible for a claim but still be denied benefits if you quit your job without good cause, you were fired for proved misconduct, or you refused a suitable job offer. You have 15 days to appeal a benefits decision. How you appeal depends on your reason for denial. If your claim was denied because you had insufficient wages, you may appeal that determination by contacting the UI Call Center at 401-243-9100. If your claim was denied for reasons other than insufficient wages, you may submit a request for adjudication in writing to the Central Adjudication Unit 
P.O. Box 20067, Cranston, Rhode Island, 02920. Or you may fax your request to 401 462 8318. Every unemployment insurance claimant is required to keep a written record of his or her weekly work search efforts, including employer visits, applications, resumes, and interviews. This record should include a minimum of three work search contacts each week. It's important to note that your work search contacts should be verifiable and may be checked if your work search record is chosen for a random audit. The Return to Work form, shown here on your left, certifies your last week of unemployment insurance benefits for your current claim. Please keep this form in a safe place and mail it to the department once you have returned to full-time work. You do not need to call Teleserve to certify for payments for the week that you return to work. Many claimants work part-time while seeking full-time work. If you worked part-time during a week in which you were collecting unemployment insurance benefits, you must indicate the gross amount of weekly wages when prompted to do so by Teleserve. If you worked less than full-time and your gross wages were less than your weekly benefit rate, you should qualify for a partial benefit payment. If you are an unemployment insurance claimant and are not actively seeking work, are not physically able to seek work, or are not available to seek work in Rhode Island during a particular week, then you cannot legally certify for benefit payments for that week. For example, if you took an out-of-state vacation for a week, you are not able, available, and actively seeking work in Rhode Island at that time. It's important to note that payments made to those who illegally certified for benefits are subject to both recovery and interest charges. In many cases, felony charges may be pursued. If you skip a week of Teleserve certification, you have created an interruption in your claim. If this occurs, you cannot continue to use Teleserve until you reopen your claim. 
You may reopen by using the online claims filing system at dlt.ri.gov or by calling 401-243-9100 and speaking with a call center representative. Currently, Rhode Island runs three different unemployment insurance programs. You can collect benefits from only one program at a time. If you qualify, you will be transitioned to the next program when you exhaust benefits in your current program. The chart on the right shows the different programs by their duration and their order. Regular unemployment insurance runs for up to 26 weeks. Then, Federal Emergency Unemployment Compensation runs for up to 53 weeks, and State Extended Benefits run for up to 20 weeks. Both Federal Emergency Unemployment Compensation and State Extended Benefits have multiple tiers within their programs. Every time you transition from one program to the next, or every time you advance tiers within a program, you will be mailed a new benefit redetermination for that program or tier. This concludes our presentation. Please know that unemployment insurance benefit rate decisions are based on a claimant's wage and work history. Not every claimant qualifies for the maximum number of weeks of benefits offered in a particular program. More information on each of the programs is available on the DLT website at dlt.ri.gov.